Hey guys, John here. Um, welcome back to Vault of the Dungeon Master, where I babble on like an idiot about things about tabletop RPGs and all that shit. All right. Um, first of all, um, it's just an update. Life's doing good. I'm still alive. As so many of these updates have become, it's just me telling you I'm still alive. You guys probably don't even care. But no. Um. Doing a lot more gaming, like I said. I, like I said months ago, you know, I'm graduated high school in June. And I'm just kind of preparing for my first steps of college, so I don't know how much videos I'll get by, but I'll try. I'll, I'll really try to. I'm trying to make an effort of getting stuff out to you guys. Like I'm really trying to work with my buddy, getting our uh, the one session I recorded of my D and D, D and my D and D group together. Um, make sure everything's good on that front, so I can actually get it out, so you guys can enjoy it and have fun time laughing, because boy, boy is it funny. At least I think it's funny. I, I I think it's great riffing material, actually. But oh yeah, um, anyway, the Thieves Guild campaign's doing great. Um, we really, we're moving along, we're gelling. Um, I'm actually, tonight, as I'm making it, I'm planning on running a game tonight for it. It's going to be great. Um, we're approaching, actually, the end of our summer games. Um, sadly, but it, it is, it's, I'm, Soon I'll have to report to college for marching band and just we're approaching the end, but there's always I for sure I'll keep gaming and with these guys I'll keep gaming as long as they want me to. As long as as long as they want me to run games. Um at least I know, as that online's always a possibility. I might run a couple games here and there online. But really uh, gaming is gonna trickle up a bit. But all like I said, I always try to come up with I'll be sure to make a video, especially if an idea pops into my head, um, or if I really want to talk about a subject. Uh, which, in hindsight, that's uh, what this, that's what this channel has always been. Anyway, on that, on another note, the Saturday night game, that first level game playing meant really fun, really fun. Really enjoyed playing that game. I thank everyone who's part of that thing. My buddy DM'd it. It's just it's great, you know. I haven't been. It's just it's just something when you play a first level game. It's just, it's always fun, you know. It, there's always like you always you really do get a sense of everything, you know. A lot of people, I guess, uh, you know, I haven't played a first level game since this game. I've played a first level game in years, you know, since I started years ago. I mean, I ran them. I ran first level. I ran a first level game, but at one point, but that can't, you know, that carried on. You know, the characters evolved. And yeah, so it was fun. I, I really enjoyed that. Um also want some other notes. I do apologize. I am doing this for my webcam. That's the map of my new fantasy world I'm working on. Finally got time to draw up the map, and it's just fun. When I get a camera or some way to show it to you guys, actually, I'll show it to you because I, I think it's really fun. It really has helped me out and stuff. And it's going back to my notes that I wrote on as my setting, and just kind of getting everything straightened out. But that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun for years. But um, also uh, another note in gaming. The D and D five E starter, uh, the basic rules I got, read through them, really like them. Eventually I'll get the start, eventually I'll get the books, starter set, you know. I really like, um, I really like where they're going. I was very hesitant for a while of where wizards would take five E, not because of, because I was afraid of enjoying an edition and then getting hurt again with the new edition, no. Fourth edition, I enjoyed it, um, and then you know when personally I thought they could have fixed a lot of things in fourth, but now I see with D and D next, five A now as for now calling it, and we're no longer calling it D and D next anymore, which is which is a shame. I like the next title, but um, it was just it was just good stuff. I, I like what I see. I like that they're putting emphasis more on characters and more on story, you know having the DM build more. I like how they're 
they want to give support for the more worlds. They just want to give support. Finally, finally, you know, support, you know, because that was the thing for like fourth edition, they would do things like Eberron or uh, Dark Sun. And they just didn't support, them. you know, I think they did uh, encounter a, a D &D, like the, the organized play session season, you know, that was great. You know, print out content, you know, give us stuff, you know. To this day, I still can't find a Eberron, I still really could never find an Eberron campaign guide in a bookstore. I always found the floor guide, never the campaign guide, which always saddened me, because I always wanted to read Eberron. But eventually I will. Um, but yeah, I like that. I like finally that they want to give more love to, you know, Greyhawk and Dragonlance, and, you know, yes, you know, finally, you know, it's not just Forgotten Realms stuff, you know, even the realms to a point in the fourth, they're just like, it's there, you know, I mean, it wasn't towards the end of fourth where they were really trying to give the realms some love, um, but I really do like how they're trying to make everything more bring back kind of the multi, the D&D &D multiverse, as it, as it is. But anyway, yeah. That's my thoughts on that. Um, other stuff, I also a couple weeks ago, I ran a Call of Cthulhu scenario called The Past is Doomed. Um, really good one. It's set kind of like in the, it's a 1990s scenario for Call of Cthulhu, and it's, um, It's kind of like, um, it's kind of connected to different time periods and how, like, the other gods have been toying with everybody. It's just been toying with mankind. It's set kind of like, you know, the millennium, you know, that type of thing, which is really cool. I enjoyed it. Um, didn't really understand the rules a bit for it, but I still enjoyed it, and I started running it, and I got to play with a lot of my players on, you know, horror and kind of scaring them, you know. And, but, yeah, anyway, um, it's pretty much, I'm just kind of, run out of steam here, or running on too much steam, I don't know. Um, before I sign off, I will say I did finish the, uh, finally, I did finish the second Dragonlance trilogy, Legends. Um, amazing. Um, might hold off on reading the rest of the Dragonlance books, just because I know in later books it'll get weird, and also I really need to, you know, I've got, as you can see behind me, i got books up the wazoo that I need to read. You know, I've got, like, I've got Elminster, Evermade, Drist, more Lovecrafts and Greyhawk stuff that I just need to read. I need to kind of diverse my fantasy, even though I will say, you know, Dragonlance did help my ideas of D&D &D and ideas of fantasy a lot. You know, I took a lot of inspiration from those. But, you know, I just I need to read more. And as a you know, as a game master, I just need to read more. I need to kind of think of things. I need to read more myths. You know, it's just how I am. You know, always constantly improving. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode of Vault of the Dungeon Master. And um, as always, um, thanks for putting up for me for long. I know we're putting up for YouTube for a year. I'm approaching my second year, you know, soon, um, a couple months. But yeah, uh, thanks for all the support, guys. Um, Thanks for always your comments, your discussions. If you have any discussions you want to ask down there, I'd like to hear, you know, your gaming stories, your, you know, thoughts on stuff I talked about, you know, just that. Put in a comment or message me. But, yeah, as always, I'm John, and happy gaming.